ladies and gentlemen, Sarah Blakely. <laughs> How many people know Spanx? No matter what red carpet I got them on, I look like a granny before I put the dress on, but I put on the dress and it's like, cut out. My next favorite thing is a great invention, the result of one woman's determination to make her dream come true. Take a look at this. I got a call from Oprah. And that is such a blessing to entrepreneurs, as you know. And their crew decided, because it was Oprah's favorite thing, so I didn't go to the show. They came to me, and Oprah usually doesn't feature any person on Oprah's favorite things, but she liked my story so much. She said, fly to Atlanta, you know, follow this girl, get her on film, and then when I hold up her product, we'll run two or three minutes of footage of her. So they arrived in Atlanta, and they said they had a whole crew, tons of people, and they said, Sarah, we've decided that we want to film you in your headquarters. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, <laughs> you're here. Um, <laughs> and then they said, okay, and they laughed. They said, and we also decided on the plane that we um, want to film you having a staff meeting. <laughs> I said, hold on a minute. I had no staff. So I went to the phone and I called Connie that I'd met at mailboxes, etc., because she'd been FedExing pantyhose for me. And I said, Connie, it's Sarah. Can you be at my apartment in five minutes and look like you work for me? And she said, I'm on my way. So I called all my friends. They all left their jobs. They came to my apartment. <laughs> They all came to my apartment, and that was my staff meeting. We sat on the floor of the back room in my apartment, and that was, you know, very, very exciting. When I was thinking about why I, I believe Spanx is where it is and why this existed, um, a few things came to my mind. The first one, believe it or not, is failure. Um, I had always wanted to be a lawyer. And I basically failed the LSAT. I'm a terrible test taker, and that was a devastating moment for me. But what I quickly realized was that failure is nothing more than life's way of nudging you and letting you know you're a little bit off course. And Spanx would not exist if I had not failed or basically failed the LSAT. I also was raised by um, my parents. My dad had this... Um, thing that he did when we were little and it made me realize that I'm really not afraid to fail at all. My biggest fear would be to not try something. And my dad, when we were young, my brother and me, we'd sit at the uh, dining room table at night and he would say, what did you guys fail at this week? And if we didn't have something, he'd be basically disappointed. And it was complete reverse psychology, but it was brilliant because it, it, it caused my brother and me to try out for things we didn't think we'd be good at and it made us um, less fearful to go outside of our comfort zone. So um, I really believe that that's a big part of it. The second is visualization. I have always visualized this for myself. In every category of my business, I always ask myself, why am I different? If I can't answer the question, why am I different, then I can't expect anyone else to. So whenever I'm going into a new product or a new business, I always say, am I better? And if so, why? Or how am I different? And